Oh, hi, gozaimasu. Right, I've had a question from Zach. Um, well, more of a request help. Um, he can't find the, the time to study Japanese. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I say don't study Japanese because then it makes it this subject that has to be done. Um, what you really want to is incorporate the Japanese language into your life. Um, and there are different ways to do it. If you're looking for a particular time in the calendar, then um, I really recommend if you've got Google Calendar, when you go into the calendar, at least on the phone, uh, you get an option to add an event, a reminder and a goal. Um, if you click on the goal on the Google Calendar, it will open up and it will give you a list of different goals that you might have. And one of them is language learning. So if you click on the Google Calendar, click on the plus sign, it will give you goal, reminder and calendar event. Click on the, remind, uh, click on the goal, which is a little flag, and it brings up a list of goals that you might want, like to exercise, uh, to learn a language, um, to, I think one of them's self-care, like meditation and things. So click on the learn a language, and then what it will do is it will find a space in your diary, in your calendar, and it will insert the activity into the calendar for you. It will make a suggestion and it comes up kind of like a reminder. Um, and then all you have to do is when you see it pop up in your Google Calendar, you can just click on it and you can say later, later, if you don't want to do it or if you can't do it then. But it's just it puts it into your calendar. It finds a space for you. Um, um, so if you're kind of thinking, I can't find a time to do any Japanese, that's a way that that takes it out of your hands. So you don't have to think about how to do that. The Google Calendar will do it for you. So try that. Try the goal within the Google Calendar to find a place within the calendar that you could manage. Uh, another suggestion I have for you is just to inject the Japanese language into your life. So when you wake up in the morning, how do you wake up? Is it an alarm? Is it music? Uh, what is it that you use to get you up in the morning? Change that to a Japanese version. How do, how do you do that? Okay, so if you wake up to the sound of the radio, find a Japanese radio station and have that wake you up instead. That way you're kind of coming to with the Japanese language. Um, if you usually wake up with an alarm clock just making a sound like me, 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 why don't you change the sound? Why don't you record your own voice? Something like, Okite kudasai, please wake up. Um, and if it's a particular time, you can record yourself saying, Hachiji dayo, if it's eight o'clock in the morning. Um, and that's the first thing you hear when you wake up is your own voice saying, it's eight o'clock, it's eight o'clock in Japanese or whatever time you get up. Um, so that's another way. So you can change your alarm clock, okay? Um, some people, depending on how far along you are studying or learning Japanese, you can change the operating system of your mobile phone into Japanese. That's a nice challenge for you if you like kanji. Uh, you, if you are commuting, uh, then listen to Japanese on your commute. There are Japanese podcasts. Uh, there are audio books in Japanese. So all of these things you can still, you can do them in Japanese instead of what you're currently doing. Uh, if you like reading, why don't you pick up one of your favourite books um, and try and decipher it in Japanese? Obviously, it's not going to work if it's a really difficult book and you're really starting from the beginning. But you can definitely say if you're a Harry Potter fan, you know, maybe have a go at the first book and try and read, figure out what's happening. If you know the story really, really well, what you're going to be doing is then recognising the story behind the new language that you're learning. Another thing that you could do, let's see, um, if you like singing like I love singing, karaoke, just find some Japanese songs and try to learn some Japanese songs. Um, that's always a bit fun. Uh, I play guitar and I'm trying to learn some Japanese songs on the guitar. So there you go. I'm playing, ja playing guitar and learning Japanese at the same time. Uh, I have pets, so I talk to my cats in Japanese as much as possible. I speak to my partner in Japanese, even though he doesn't understand any of it. Uh, all of these things are ways of injecting the Japanese language into your life and what you already do. So you're not actually studying, which seems to make it this 
I think it puts a lot of, well, for me, if I say I need to study Japanese, it puts that pressure on me and I just think, ugh. What I want to do instead is just have it part of my life. It's what I do. I speak Japanese. It's just part of my lifestyle. So I hope that helps. Um, that was answering Zach's question. He wanted to know help. How could he fit Japanese into his life? He doesn't have time. So there are a few suggestions for him. All right. If you have any questions, just send me a message and I'll see you on another live stream soon. Okay. Mata ne.